Is AGI already here? I've said for a while now that I believe it may already be here, but now we hear that from an expert. Who is that and what did they have to say and what does it mean for you in your career? We're going to discuss that right now. So I've mentioned Peter Diamandis a number of times on this channel. He's brilliant, founder of the X Prize, co-founder of Singularity University, along with Ray Kurzweil. He also does interviews with people, and he did an interview with Mo Gaudet. Now, who is Mo? Former chief business officer at Google X, so on the bleeding edge of technical experimentation and development. He's an author of books on happiness, and he also has a podcast called Slow Mo, where he interviews people. His website says AI plus happiness. So the interview between Peter and Mo starts out with a discussion about the ongoing race right now to reach AGI. And during the course of this discussion, Mo says he believes AGI is already here. As I mentioned, I believe that too, and I believe it hasn't been announced because people will freak out the day they announce that an AI is smarter than any average human at anything. By the way, mental tasks, not physical. Leave that to the robots. So Mo believes AGI is already here even if it's not, it'll be here soon. And they go on to talk about the duality of AI. AI can do a lot of things for good, see my last video, or AI can do a lot of things that are adverse to the interests of human beings. So the central premise of this discussion is that because AI and robotics are exponential, they are improving at an exponential rate, which means two things. One is humans cannot perceive exponential rates of change, meaning it's advancing far faster than we can perceive it. And number two, the rate of change is speeding up. So it's going to get faster and faster and faster and faster. So in that kind of environment, what happens? Well, they go on to discuss the fact that the handover of the world to AI is inevitable. And then they talk about the risk to human beings of being totally dependent on AI. I can already see that coming. I'll give you a clear risk. Right now, every major browser, when you ask a question, gives you a summary of everything out there on the internet as of now, because these things are all in real time. An immediate risk is relying only on that summary and not looking behind at the sources that are quoted. In many cases now, those sources are quoted to see what they say, because in those sources are opposing views and possibly opposing facts. So it will be very easy in the future to over-rely on AI to our own detriment, mostly with regards to critical thinking, without which we stop being homo sapiens, by the way. <laughs> that is the defining characteristic of modern humans, critical thinking. So if you give that away, you're already a robot. And then they go on to talk about the good things about AI, like breakthroughs in science and medicine, the recent explosion of open source AI models that anyone can use, the opportunity to create your own personal AI agent, although for anyone who owns a smartphone these days, which is virtually everyone, you already have that, <laughs> either here or coming very, very shortly in the form of Apple's AI intelligence or Google Gemini, because it will personalize itself to you and what you ask and stuff like that. And then they talk about the dangers, which are many and relatively obvious if you think about it, military applications of AI and robotics that could go seriously wrong. The fact that hackers are now using AI to hack virtually any system, etc., and then at the very end, they talk about coming massive job displacement and a very short discussion on how to navigate this. Well, you're tuned into a channel that is dedicated to that full time.
And I've talked extensively about how to choose careers that give you the best long-term viability vis-a-vis -vis AI and robotics and sensors and everything else that's going on. So by staying tuned into this channel and sharing this channel, you're going to stay on top of the best advice for navigating what's coming. And then the very last thing they talk about is dealing with the stress of what's coming, which goes right to my topic from last week or the week before. Your number one defense against what's coming is mindset and the stories you tell yourself about what is happening. Because this is going to be real, folks, and it's going to hit everyone. White collar, blue collar. If you think about the hospital garb that's green, green collar, this is hitting everybody without exception. So mindset is number one. And in that video, watch it. I gave you some tools to help you. So it's gratifying to see that someone as prominent as Peter Diamandis, who is one of the top people for many, many years in advanced technologies, one of the very top people in the world, is getting around to the subject that this channel focuses on, which is navigating the tsunami of impact that is coming to your career. So I'm glad this is starting to get a little more broadly discussed. But we've been doing this for five years now, so this is the channel you want for that issue. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon, or you can buy me a coffee. Either way, your financial support helps us grow the channel, keep bringing you stuff from the cutting edge, and giving you better and better strategies and resources to prepare you for the disruption that is now here, folks. Now here, starting this year. So thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.